It's been a week after Mechaverse has dropped and a couple days after the reveal. Things are starting to shake out. Let's jump in and have a deep dive of Mechaverse. <laughs> First up, I want to say if you could hit up the like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, there's chapters down below so you can fast forward to the sections that you want to help you navigate the video easier. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. Please do your own research before jumping into the NFT space. Now, we're just going to get straight into the stats. Let's get into it. Now, over on OpenSea, we've got a snapshot here. We can see the 8,600 items, the 5,300 owners, and the floor price of 2.79. Now, look, the price floor has dropped quite a bit since the reveal, but let's jump into Nansen and have a look. And for those that are wondering, the what I'm currently using is Nansen. So I've got a link for Nansen down below. They've got a $9 seven-day trial. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I just really like the software. So deployed seven days ago, we can see here that the volume was absolutely crazy. The volume dropped off and went down. As the volume went down, the pr average price went up to around almost 8 ETH. Uh, then the volume kind of picked up on the day that we had the reveal. Then after the volume is dropping off and the price floor is dropping. Now we can't take much from this last one because the day is currently just starting and we need to see a close there. Then when we have a look at the price range and it's denominated by the green, it runs up to where that we had the peak. We then have this peak here, which is the reveal day, and then it's currently on a downtrend. And then when it comes to the minimum price, it's sitting very, very close to the average price. And then once we get the reveal, we can see the divergence between the prices. Scrolling down to the individual transactions, this is a very interesting chart. If we actually drop the extreme outlier, what we can actually see here is that everyone was buying at around that six ETH mark. And then as soon as there was the reveal, there is just an absolute wall of trading. And now it's crazy to see a chart like this. I've never seen one like this before, um, but you can see all of this price movement. And then you've got the white line, which is the average price. It is just in a steady decline since then. If we have a look at the transactions and buyers, um, as you would expect, huge volume, huge unique buyers. And then on the uh, reveal day, we've also got another little peak up here. And then scrolling down and having a look at the top balances. What we can see here is that the top balance has 59. He had 60, sold one, now he's at 59. The next one, 39. The next one, 25. The next one, 23. He only sold one. So we can see that the top balances here are holding on quite strong with their bags when it comes to Mechaverse. So what I can take away here is that these people that are holding, they see some value in it and they see some long-term growth in this project because someone that's holding 20 Mechas is holding quite a large bag when it comes to the project. When we actually bump across, we can see here that we still have quite a few holders that have the more than five, more than six. And then when it comes down to the top balances over time, what we can see here is that the top balances just keep adding to their bag. So the people that are holding are continuing buying more and they see strength in this project. Now, when it comes down to the smart money, it looks a little bit chaotic, but what we can see here is that overall, it's looking like they're holding strong. So coming over and having a look at the unique addresses, the story that this is telling is that all of the smaller retail holders would have offloaded their mechas, so the ones that had one or two, and they've offloaded them and then put them in the hands of people that were already uh, that already had mechas, so the top balances. So you can see here, on the mint day, we had 5,555, and now it's currently at 5,200, so 5,300. So what I'm taking away from this chart is that the people that were the retail investors that had the one or two, and the people that had some of those top balances have then kind of scooped those up. And then when it comes to the percentage of people only holding one NFT, it is rising. It is currently at 63%. Now look, this chart seems to contradict the one above, but the way that I'm reading into this is the people that were holding two of the NFTs have sold one and have sold one to the top balances. So the percentage of people only holding one has increased because people have then offloaded two and there are people that are leaving. So people are selling all of their bags or selling one and it's going to the top balances, hence why we're actually ending up with less unique addresses over time. Now, another theory that I have when it comes to the unique addresses and unique holders, someone may have had 10 wallets set up that were able to kind of mint um, in three of the wallets, they then consolidated them into one. So there is a chance that those data and those statistics aren't true representations of how it works, but this is just a theory that I've got when it comes down to how we're analyzing the statistics. When we have a look at the balance of diamond hands, we can see that after we had the reveal, um, everyone has just seemed to have offloaded, which would contribute to the price floor dropping. 
Now the next one is a fun one and that is the profit leaderboard. When we have a look at the profit leaderboard, what we can see here is that someone has made an absolute killing, 138th profit. Uh, the next highest profit is 46. So it's about two and a half times the amount of the top profit taker, which is absolutely insane. That is some life-changing money right there. But what is peculiar about this profit leaderboard, and I'm actually happy when I see this, is that all of the profit takers are OpenSea users. They're the people that have bought to and sold to. So the way that I'm seeing this is that there's been some lucky people out there, people like you and me, that have ended up being lucky to mint one, then had a rare, sold it, and they've made some life-changing money. Because when it comes down to it, this is what I'd like to see. If I had seen all these big profit takers being um, big bag holders, I don't think I'd be too happy. But seeing that there are some people out there that are taking some massively insane profits, it just feels like it's actually giving back to the community because there's someone out there that's made some life-changing money, they've paid off their mortgage, they paid off their student loans and that kind of thing. So I see this profit leaderboard as a very, very positive profit leaderboard. And then when we come down to the top five buying addresses and where they're buying in at, we can see here that on the reveal day, someone has absolutely snagged them up at around that four ETH mark. Coming down to where the legendary collectors are buying, we can see here that on the reveal day, there's just a wall of purchases between 11 ETH and three and a half ETH. So we can see here that they're kind of collecting some rare ones or collecting particular factions that they want, ones that will hold um, some value over time. And then scrolling down to the smart money, we can see that the smart money hasn't really got in post the reveal. And then when it comes down to the recent transactions, what we can see here is that over an hour, you're going to get up an approximately 10 sales when it comes to Mechaverse, but saying that it is uh, very late slash early in the morning in the US. So this may pick up when we actually get to um, sort of morning time in the US. So why is the price floor of the Mechas so low? I believe it comes down to two parts. The first part is with Ethereum going up, um, usually that kind of brings some of the uh, prices in Ethereum down. If you actually go into your wallet and what you'll notice is that what was being sold at a price floor of 1.3 is now for 1.1. What was a 0.1 will be a 0.07. There has been a reduction across the board. So don't just look at Mechaverse um, in a singular aspect. Look at the whole market as an overview. The second reason is I believe that people that did think they were holding a tall Mecha that was sitting around that sort of six to eight ETH mark, they've then seen the price fall drop. They've then seen it drop again. They've then listed one, it's dropped. They've then listed, they've dropped. So I feel like there is almost a chasing of this with people that um, were able to mint a Mecca are worried that they're gonna be losing all their money and it's gonna go to zero. Now, what I believe over the next two to three days is that the floor will bottom out. The smart money will see what you can actually get and what the deal is. They will then buy up and then eventually all of the paper hands will kind of be cleared out and then it will be in that accumulation phase and then it will start to build. I see a price for sitting at around that four mark. The reason that I say this is that all of the top five buying addresses have bought in at around this four mark. When I have a look at the legendary collectors buying, the lowest they've bought in is at around that three mark. Uh, when you have a look at the smart money, they've bought in at around that six mark. So all of these people see a price floor sitting at around that four to six mark. So currently with a price floor of 2.8, it seems like it's quite undervalued. Now saying that, please do your own research before jumping into the space, but having a look seven days uh, seems like a long time when you're in the NFT space. But if you have a look at the blue chip index over the last three months, we can see here that it's just in a steady uptrend. There have been some peaks, but it is going up. That's why I don't worry. You always see stuff peak, retrace, peak, retrace, peak, retrace, but the overall trend is up. So that's why I wouldn't be too worried if I was holding on to a Mecca right now. Sit on it, hold it, write it out. Use that Mecca to network and build your um, social credibility and social proof um, because that's where I feel like some of the value will come into it because there will be a point where we have a ball player, where you'll have um, a big rapper, you'll have a big celebrity. When Christie's does an auction and sells a Mecca for 500,000 or a million dollars, then there's gonna be another influx of an awareness. There's gonna be another influx of buyers into this state. We're only seven days into it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you found value in this video, please uh, sub consider subscribing. Also drop a comment below with your thoughts when it comes to Mechaverse. Overall, it's been a pleasure having you with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.